Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just wanted to make a quick video about things that you should know when you move to Tanzania. Um, just a bit of a background because um, I actually haven't made a video um, myself talking on why I moved to Tanzania. Um, so I moved in Tanzania, to Tanzania in January um, and I've been here now since three months um, and I originally moved to Tanzania to escape the cold, I'm originally living in the UK and, and you know how it can get how cold it can get um, between December and January um, and I was not up for it so I decided to move away and also just to see a different part of Africa because I am from West Africa myself from Ghana um, and I just always knew West Africa and I didn't know any other parts in Africa. Um, so that was the reason why I temporarily moved um, to Tanzania. Um, myself, I felt like I would have had, I would have loved to have more information uh, when I moved to Tanzania. Um, so that's the reason on why I made this video today for you guys to just have a bit of an idea um, on when you move to Tanzania, what things to be aware of. So the first thing that I want to speak with you guys about um, is be aware of the housing in Tanzania. So when I say housing is that if you are planning to rent a place here in Tanzania, you will mostly face um, a person called Delali. Um, now Delali here in Tanzania are known as the real estate and it's not just for housing. Um, I have spoken to several people and apparently it's also when you're buying cars um, or doing any other things here in Tanzania that, that might require you buying things. Um, so when it comes to Delali, um, they will charge you for viewing properties um, like a normal real real estate um, anywhere else um, so I paid my own experience I paid 20,000 um, Tanzanian shillings to view I think about four or five apartments but I, I don't think it matters how many apartments you're viewing it's just a one-off fee that you have to pay um, now when it comes to the lollies is when you are finding a place um, that you would have to pay additional cost. Um, in my experience, when I was dealing with a Denali, it was the person was requesting 50% of the rent, um, total rent, monthly rent, on top of um, the monthly rent, as I said, um, so every month. So that means that he was asking me, for example, if the flat was 600 USD um, every month for the, for the Denali to pay 300 USD on top which equaled my monthly rent to 900 USD. Um, I did hear different cases when I was speaking to other people where they just asked you for 50% the first month only um, and you don't have to pay other, other months. But in my case, my experience, they asked for 50% every single month of me having my contract uh, rent in the place. Um, that's one thing to be aware of. So my personal advice would be look for an accommodation first, um, a temporary accommodation maybe for two weeks. Um, get yourself familiar with the areas as well in terms of where you would want to stay when it comes to housing. Um, and try to write down any apartment complex that you see on road. Um, so the reason why I say that is I had an experience with um, an apartment complex where I looked online and it was way higher than when I actually went there physically myself. Um, so when I went there physically myself, um, it tend to be out way cheaper um, than the average online. Um, also another thing to know about housing is that in Tanzania, they will want you to have, even if you're staying for short term, short term um, a minimum contract of three months. Um, so that's kind of like the minimum that you could get here, which is three months. Um, normally it's six months, but you can, when you speak to someone and find someone that, that willing to agree, you can get three months. Um, but one thing that I have to say is majority of apartment complexes um, or housing would want three months in advance. Um, there's rare, rare situations where you can get um, a place where you can pay monthly. Um, so be aware of that as well. Um, luckily, I will link the person down below on where I'm renting. Um, he was flexible enough to arrange monthly rent, um, so us paying every month. 
but also based on a three months contract um, to agree to a monthly rent. Um, so that's one thing that I would advise you about housing. Make sure that you come prior, have a temporary accommodation, get familiar with the areas, and make sure you write down any apartment complex yourself to um, contact them by yourself and have your own viewings to make sure that everything's okay. Next point I want to speak about is transport. Um, when it comes to transport here in Tanzania, Uber and Bold work very well. Um, they're super cheap compared to somewhere in the UK or America. Um, so you don't need to worry about your transport here at all. The only thing that I would say when it comes to Uber and Bold is be prepared that they will call you every time you book a trip. That is just to confirm your location. Um, and if you are aware of the location being exact, the pin on where you put it, you're totally fine. You can just tell them to follow the map. Another thing when it comes to Uber on board is that make sure that when you do get an English speaking um, Uber or boat driver, take down the number because that will make your stay when it comes to public transport here um, way easier. When I say take down the number is you can just give them a call when you need um, an Uber on board or transport to go anywhere um, and they will just tell you, okay, I come around or whatsoever. Because when it comes to some of the Uber boat drivers, not everyone speaks English. So it can make it hard for yourself to communicate with the Uber to tell them where you're located or whatsoever. So that's kind of what I did. Every time when I had an English speaking um, Uber boat driver, um, I took down the number. So I had kind of like three Uber boat drivers that I could call um, to say, okay, are you available? Are you free? Um, and you can also then kind of negotiate, for example, if you need them for a whole day, you can kind of negotiate like a whole day price. Um, but obviously always make sure to still check on the Uber boat app and how far and how much it might cost you to go to certain places. So you can meet in the middle and find a price that suits both of you. So the next point I would want to speak about is cash and mobile money here in Tanzania. Um, so I start with cash. Make sure you have cash when it comes to being around and moving around in Tanzania. Not everywhere you can go and pay with card. Um, even when you have cash, when it also comes to Ubers, um, make sure that your 10,000 shilling notes are exchanged. Because majority of people um, in Tanzania do not have change for 10,000, which is the biggest note here in Tanzania. Um, so it's quite important that you have enough change with you, whether it's um, enough 1,000 uh, shilling notes, um, enough 5,000 shilling notes, or 2,000 shilling notes. So when you Uber, Uber comes up to a total of 6,000 shillings, um, they might actually struggle to give you 4,000 shilling change. Um, so make sure that you have, even when you have cash, that you have your 10,000 notes always, that you always have change for that as well. So make sure that when you get 10,000 uh, 10, notes, make sure that you get them exchanged as well, whether it's in the supermarket or ask them for change and change your 10,000 notes as well, because that's quite important when you are in several places. Um, Mobile money is a bit big thing here in Tanzania. When you, when you move to Tanzania, and you get a SIM card, um, you will have something called M-Pesa. Um, it's not just with Boda.com, um, it could be Tigo Pesa, it could be he Hello Pesa. Um, it's just a form of bank, it's, it's a form of bank account on your mobile, on your phone basically, so mobile money. Um, so majority of places that you go to, whether it's businesses, whether it's you know, going out, whether it's food, whether it's nails, whether it's supermarket, um, you can pay with M-Pesa. Um, so it's quite important that you as an out, but if you're coming from abroad, have something called Remote, World Remit, World Remit um, or any other sort of mobile money banking, international money transfer, because um, that will be able to help you to send yourself money to your M-Pesa um, from your abroad bank account, whether it's UK, whether it's American, any bank account from abroad. Um, so it makes things banking easier for you. So you could, as I said, send money from your world remit to your own mobile money and PESA 
and then you can pay via your M-Pesa um, businesses and it, it works unbelievably well here. Um, so I'm now a pro of mobile money, whether it comes to topping up your electricity, whether it comes to booking your bundles, whether it comes to booking your Wi-Fi, as I said, buying outside, paying your Ubers, everyone is quite flexible when it comes to that. So make sure you get yourself m -Pesa when you move to Tanzania. The fourth point I have for you is language. I personally, majority of people here speak Swahili. Um, I personally do not think it is as bad as I thought um, and I don't think personally it is as bad as what I was seeing from other YouTubers and uh, the videos that I have been watching. Um, people do speak Swahili here uh, majority of the time but there is a good amount of people that also speak English. So I don't think my personal experience it is as bad as where you you have to learn Swahili or you have to know Swahili. I would advise no basic things in Swahili because um, people here in, in Tanzania are very polite. So it's quite important to know thank you, you're welcome, um, certain numbers maybe when it comes to pay, um, also you know certain greetings just to you know be polite and ask someone as well how they are and stuff like that because people here as i said in Tanzania are very polite and caring um so yeah but um, my personal experiences i do not think it is as bad um but as i said make sure you know basic words in swahili just to be nice my fifth point uh, i have for you today is money so when i say money i'm talking about income da is super cheap that it can really become expensive so one point that i would say is make sure you have a stable income when you're moving to da um, it is quite important it won't help you to have this amount of savings and then move into tanzania because before you know the money of savings that you have will be gone so make sure that you have a stable income um best of course is european salary or american salary um, so that's one advice that i will really make sure that you you need to think about when you move into tanzania make sure you have a stable income because as i said that is super cheap that can come very quick expensive and the last thing that i want you to um be aware of when you move to tanzania is know some local prices so know the cost of some um some of some of the um basics here in tanzania when i'm talking about that i'm talking about water um fruits certain food um so you don't get overcharged so it's quite important for you to um, know some local prices so what i am um, used to do is to find out some local prices i would ask for example uber drivers and um, when we're on the road like how much is the average of like a water bottle here in tanzania how much how much do people charge um to kind of know like some some several prices um and know what what number to work around um so that's another thing that i would say do make sure that you um, speak to your Uber drivers, um, speak to local people um, to kind of have an understanding um, of what um, the prices are here in, in Tanzania. So this is the ending of my video. I hope you liked it. I will make sure that I will put as much information in the description box below, um, links for payment, for mobile money, for uh, housing um, and much more. Um, to be able to feed you with as much information. So if you have any question, um, please feel free to um, put a comment in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. Um, and I hope this video was helpful um, and I hope you are more prepared now to move to Tanzania than before. Thank you so much for watch watching. Um, please share, like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye.